read a book and it was to do with willpower. I think it was actually called Willpower. I read this a few years ago. And the way that they describe willpower, they've done studies on this, it shows that it's almost like a battery. Your brain is, your willpower in your brain is almost like a battery. So you have a certain amount that you can use every single day. And if you don't sleep properly, let's say you get five hours of sleep, your willpower, they found, was lower. You're more likely to like give in to cravings and all this other shit, right? So with that being said, I found a trick years ago that any time, it almost works on the same basis. Like if you want to cheat on your diet, if you want to masturbate, if you want to watch porn, if you're feeling weak and you want to take a day off and watch a film, it's it's like the same thing. I like figured out that I had the same feelings from everything and I could scratch that itch through any of those means. So I was like, what's the worst out of those? I was like, well, I don't want to watch porn. I don't want to masturbate. It fucks me up. It derails me. I don't want to do that. Okay, so that's the worst one. I found whenever I got like low and I was like, I really want to do this. I'm horny as fuck. I'm not seeing a woman for like a week. I found that if I went and had like a piece of cake, a pizza, if I went and had like a burger or something like that, or something I really shouldn't have been eating, or if I watched a movie and had like a sugary cup of tea, okay, which is something I never do. So for me, it's like a treat because my dopamine levels are so reset this at such a normal level that having like a sugary cup of tea was just like golden to me it just really helped me out and I would just watch a movie and have a cup of tea and those cravings would go away because my body just wanted something do you know what I mean guys it just needed to scratch that pleasure itch in one way or another and that's all it is your body's seeking pleasure it wants pleasure all the time it wants to avoid pain and go for pleasure so you just replace porn and masturbation every time You know, every time you feel as though I'm really going to do this, okay? So I'm not saying every time you feel horny, you go and eat a piece of cake. That would be a nightmare, right? But you can go for like a walk. You can stay on top of it. Just have a bit of self-discipline, self-control. It's not always like a million percent urge, you know? You're not out of your brain going crazy thinking, fuck, I really want to do this. But like once a month, you get that situation or once in two weeks, you're like, I feel weak. I feel drained. I just want to, I feel down. I feel depressed today. I think, you know, I could go upstairs and masturbate. That's just like the one thing that's going to get me out of this. I think then when you're in that mode where you're like, I'm genuinely going to do this. Like you've convinced yourself, fuck it. I'm going to do it. Or I can't resist anymore. Go and do something pleasurable. Like just drive to a restaurant and go and have like the biggest dessert that they've got. Cause I guarantee you'll go, I feel okay now. Like it's almost as that as though that pleasure itch just gets scratched and you just go, that's it, I'm done. Okay, I don't need to go back there. So that's like a trick that I've been using for years, okay? And I, I almost tie it in with my cheat meals. I feel like my cheat meals keep me sane. I have them like once every week, once every two weeks, depending on how I feel. I kind of judge it based on my brain. If I'm like, I don't really, I don't force myself, oh, it's cheat meal day. But if I'm just moving through life and I'm like, I feel like I'm going to make a bad decision on something. I'm going to spend two grand on something that I shouldn't spend two grand on. I'm going to just go and scratch that pleasure itch and then I'm going to move forward with my life. And I I find this just works so, so well, okay, guys? 